Hello future chemistry students, my name is Kyle Selman and I'm here to talk about the kinetic molecular theory. Now there are six theories that go along with this kinetic molecular theory. Number one, gas molecules contain atoms that move in a completely random motion. Two, these particles move in a straight line until they collide with another particle or the walls of the container. Three, these particles are much smaller than the distance between particles. Most of the volume of the gas is therefore empty space. 4. <clears throat> there is no force of attraction between gas particles or between the particles and the walls of the container. 5. Collisions between gas particles or collisions with the walls of the container are perfectly elastic. 6. The average kinetic energy of a collection of gas particles depends solely on the temperature of gas. Now, number 1. And to explain it a little... Gas molecules contain atoms that move in a completely random motion. So a gas consists of molecules moving in a completely random motion as seen in the diagram. Molecules are going all different directions and at different speeds. And the only way to change where they are going is if um, like a wall or a molecule hits them. Number two, these particles move in a straight line until they collide with another particle or the walls of the container. So, um, the only things that can change a molecule's path would be another gas particle or the wall. So, that would be an example of an external force. Number three, the particles are much smaller than the distance between the gas particles. So, as seen in a solid, they're really close, tightly packed together, liquid. They're a little more free, but in a gas molecule... You can clearly see that they're spread out, they're going all different directions, moving much more often than any liquid or solid. Number four, there is no force of attraction between gas particles or between the particles in the walls of the container. So the particles in the container are not attracted to each other and the particles are not attracted to the wall. One way I like to memorize these is think of it like a, the balls in a billiards table because... They're just going all random directions, and the only things that can change its path are the wall and uh, if another ball hits it. Number five, collisions between gas particles or collisions with the walls are perfectly elastic. So, and, uh, for a definition, an elastic collision is a collision where there is no net loss of kinetic energy. Um, in other words, in an elastic collision, the amount of energy at the beginning of the reaction will have the same amount of kinetic energy at the end of the reaction. Number six, the average kinetic energy of a collection of gas particles depends solely on the temperature of the gas. As you can see in the first diagram, the gas molecules are moving around and colliding because the temperature of the gas is cool, but it's really not moving that rapidly, anything very fast. But in the second diagram, because the temperature of the container is much higher than the that of the first container, the molecules are moving around much faster, colliding, creating more kinetic energy. And that's it. Thank you for watching.